LCD X's got the Joker. Remember the LCD X video? I did a really good impression of the Joker. Everyone was happy. I needed to bring across the point that you could spend over a thousand dollars on headphones, and it should be normal. And I made an excuse that that's that's you know you could spend it on a stove, you could spend it on a, you know damage to your car. So why not headphones that you can use all the time? I, I really love the LCD X's. So when someone offered me the LCD XC's which is the closed back version of the LCD X's, I was like, fuck, on the ball, yes. Now these are an older version, they don't have the comfort strap on top. And I'm not sure if they've changed the sound signature, I'm assuming they haven't. I looked, tried to see if anyone had compared the two. And, um, not my cup of tea. Start off with that. And I'm a pretty easygoing guy. I just put on headphones and do I enjoy listening to them? Yes or no? And I'm impressed technically by what these can do, but I don't really like want to listen to them. I don't, they've been sitting here on a block next to all these other headphones and there are headphones I've pulled out instead of these. It's these, these are here. These are here. And I'm just like, eh, not today. Oh, it's, it's loose. Hold on. I gotta do a thing. It's got the old school Odyssey problem. I meant to fix this before I started the review, but I forgot. Yeah, um, the way that this is built is nice and simple, but there's like a one screw failure point here that if this gets loose, and it always, always gets loose, you have to um, crank it like a lot. I'll check the other side too. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so now they're now they're fixed. So now that's it's uh, look what they come with. Uh, the uh, the big old cable uh, box, big old box. Look at this big old box. It's big and old. And it's, you pull this out, and it's got this where the wires sit. And here's where the headphones sit. And it's got these handles, and it slides in. And God forbid, you know, you're in the Amazon on the rainforest, and you drop this in the Amazon River. You'd probably be fine coming back in like a year or two and getting them out. The cables they come with. I don't know if they've changed these since. This is again, this is an older version, but I don't like them. I should like them. I should. Li I like flat cables, and it's relatively straight. But I don't know. There's something about what they just they pick up dirt and there's there's dents in it. And I know this is a used pair. But every pair you buy will eventually go from new to used while it's in your possession. Not many things can be new for two years. So you get this, and it's very sticky rubber. Again, this is kind of a, welcome to a Z review if you've never been here. I complain about the little stupid shit that no one else complains about, and then I kind of forget to talk about how things sound. That's just the formula, and it's worked pretty good so far. So yeah, really sticky rubber. It's uncomfortable to like touch. And then it comes to a split, and then you get these two little things, and it feels fragile. I feel like I'm going to break these. I got good strain relief here, but I don't know, it's just these two, they feel cheap from this point on. Like, I can live with this, eh, but then it gets into like, the two little things, and it's like, oh, oh, no. So we're going to, we're going to disco the stock cable. And uh, Periapt actually sent me, the, I, I said, can you send me a purple cable? And they're like, we don't make purple, and I'm like... I'm Zeos Pantera, and I threw a bunch of Skittles because there was blue ones in it. And I'm like, you are there blue Skittles? I don't think there's blue Skittles. But I had a fucking tantrum, and they're like, you make me a purple cable, please! Mm. And then they made a purple cable. So now they're going to sell a purple cable. I forgot what they're calling it. But ooh, purple, my favorite color. And get this. They didn't say what kind of cable, and they sent it to me, and I'm like, I don't have any headphones that terminate in this. So I had this purple cable for a couple months before I could actually enjoy using it. But it's nice. It's nice to know I could uh, conduct uh, winds of change. So balanced out of my um, X7S. Oh, now we're talking. And there is a balance cable that came with it. It's the same shit. It's just the same, like, I don't know. I don't know build now again no comfort straps so a little bit older you get these pop downs Ugh. 
I, I'm not afraid things are going to break, but I just, these are, again, older model, and I'm just like, you shouldn't have to force things that hard. And here's an adjustment screw, which that won't adjust, that uh, holds the pin that lets it click through, so you could tighten that down so it doesn't move, or loosen it up. Yeah, it's fine. Metal, uh, beautiful wood, beautiful, fucking, fucking, oh. Uh. Um, I would compare these against my closed back M1060Cs. However, those are now open back M1060Cs with Odyssey vegan pads on them. So they're not really anything I can compare against. And I've already sort of spoiled the fact that I, I don't really enjoy listening to these. Certainly not as much as the LCD X's. Because I, I, here's the thing, I haven't heard LCD X's in like a year and a half. Like I'm sure I've seen them places, but I reviewed them and I'm done. And I love them, but there's no need to remind myself that I don't have a set. I could buy a set, I, I just, I have so many other headphones. So I figured the XC's would be close. And what did the X's do? The X's were wide and they had amazing low end and they were so relaxing and you were just there. And I put these on and you've got this imaging that is fucking spectacular with the, with the R's. But then the, it's just, I want to mod these. I feel like these need work. I feel like if I was designing this headphone and I put them on and I'm the engineer and I'm just like, all right, let's see what you guys have accomplished. Yeah, um... You know, the highs are a little bit too high, too too high still, guys. Could you could you tone the highs down? The the order of things disappoint me with these headphones. Because they're they're thirteen hundred dollars. These are not like, oh, the two hundred dollar headphones, you did your best. These are American made. Love that. Thirteen hundred dollars. Don't love that so much, but at least, you know, you should get what you pay for, and I'm sure the craftsmanship is there. But if feel if you if you know anything about the line of L C Ds. There's the, uh, the two classics, which I love. They're a bit dark, but they're relaxed. I like a headphone. There's two types of headphones, as far as, like, when you get up into the higher end. Headphones that you could sit back, put your fucking feet up, and relax. The Sonys. The Z1Rs. A lot of people don't like those. Oh, you can do better than the Sonys. Um, for relaxation? For just, like, I just want to hear fucking music? And fuck off, detail. Not even fuck off detail. Just, f just, just fuck off everything else. Just... Spa headphones. There's spa headphones that you put on and you just, you hear the water rolling over the rocks and you slowly breathe in with nature and everything is good. And then there's LCD 4s, which fuck you with detail, fuck, fuck, fuck. Are you listening to this music fucking right now? And these are more towards that end. And, uh, I, I can respect that sort of sound. Like, I just need to... For, like, one or two songs, you like, you know what? Something's wrong with this track, and I need to hear it. So you put on the murder cans, and you got... You, it's like, M50X? M50s. Qualify as that. I need to hear everything that's happening. And you put them on, you go... Ah, ah, ah. Okay. And you put them off, and you go, okay, this is what's wrong with the track. But you never, ever, ever relax to those or put them on for long sessions. You can't. There are some people who like to just cut themselves to make sure they know they're alive, and that's the sort of, that's that side. And the LCD X's were very much in the, listen to these, and all oh, big and wide and open, and the bass just so good. And when they closed them, it's more like LCD 3's. Uh, so there's, was there ever LCD 1's? I know there's LCD 2's. And I did the two, the phasered and the non-phasered. And those were sort of like the, they were an older version and they were the best headphones I'd heard at the time. And now the two classics are, I think better than both of those ever were. And I enjoy them because they're a bit dark and they're wide and they're soft. Then the LCD X's were getting just, they were just right on the edge of like, I'm not missing any detail. They're so wide, they're so, there's quality, they tasted like quality. I could physically, my mouth had a mmm in it. And then I've heard the threes. I haven't reviewed the threes. I reviewed the fours. I've heard the threes. And the threes, from the short period of time I listened to them, were like, holy God, the treble. Holy shit. 
the treble. And it's okay to make varying, like you make four headphones and these have way more bass, and this one has more treble, and this one is more wide, and this one is more narrow, it's fine. Uh, but I didn't like the threes, they were just painful. And then the fours were that other category of like, I understand why these are so much money, but don't ask me to relax in them. And I pulled out my Volvo seat for my sim racing chair. I put my feet up on this chair, I put these on, and they barely stay on your head because they're so fucking heavy. And I tried to just listen for like an hour and a half before this review. I tried, because I've been listening to them on and off, sitting here going, oh yeah, let me, let me try this on this amp or this or the tube. And I just tried to just sit there with the remote control and just click through track after track after track. And I'd say one out of every four tracks was listenable. Like completely just like, oh, this is fine. But the other three tracks, disappointed with how much treble just murder there was. These are sharp. And then disappointed with the low end. And that shouldn't be a thing. Not on a fucking $1,300 pair of... Au now, granted, I just finished up the review of the THN100s converted to the Lawton mod. And those go from, oh my god, bass gods, to still, oh my god, there's never, they're never not the best bass, low-end sounding headphones. But these don't get anywhere near it. My test song right now, the one that I go to to say, I wonder how these handle bass, is uh, the song that was playing at the beginning of this review, which is Run the Jewels, Oh Mama. And it's, I love Run the Jewels. But um, that song in particular has a bass line that if you put it on with crazy big subs or really low-end, quality low-end cans, it just like makes your heart just do like that every time it hits. And I put it on here and I'm just like, oh, these don't do bass that well. Like that's my, fi that was my final, I was like, what's wrong? With and that's what was wrong. They just don't, they don't accomplish the low end. Again, I feel like these need to be modified. I feel like I'm, I'm these are like halfway through development as far as I'm concerned. Take them back. Now maybe the new version, because if we look at fucking the Amazon page, where they are $1,300 prime shipped, my cost could be $10 less if I get a bonus card. Woo! See, they have the uh, the head strap and a different headband mechanism. They have the, the, the perforated thing. So, I'm, I'm giving you this review. I'm going to link to those because they exist, but I'm going to give you this review. And if I ever get those to compare directly to these, then I'll, I'll straighten out what's going on. Because these don't feel f finished. They feel like someone's like halfway through modifying them, and I would tell them, all right, you gotta loosen that bass up. It's, there's a point where bass can get really wonky and overbearing, and that's not what a lot of people want, and that's fine, but there's also a point where the bass is just boring. Not accurate, boring. It says boring low end. Boring, I'm just like, this is fucking, you high? Look at them, how can they? The, the, the M1060Cs, I guarantee you have better low end than these did. These got the um, Virum ones. I mean, they're open back. I don't want to compare open to closed back. I mean, do I want to point at, at my ethers, which are eighteen hundred? So they're still five hundred dollars more. But holy fuck, ethers over these. So yeah, no, I'm just the imaging is incredible. Look at some good things out. Say some good stuff. Of course, this is a mostly. I'm not. This is not my taste, all right? I Everyone's got their own opinion, and everyone's got their own taste, and this is not my, my own, like, no, it's like, eh. It's like, eh, no. I know Odyssey can make a good closed can, because the EL8 closed back, the, the, the really fashionable one with the wood around the outside, that's, those are fucking articulate and quality, and I'm like, ooh, and the low end on those is ooh. Everything on those was ooh. And they, I forget about them every once in a while. Because they had, they were just like some middle ground, and people complain that they break, even though I thought they were built fantastically. But the EL8 closed back is like, oh. So they should be able to do quality with this. And now the the LCD 2C has a closed back version. So again, I like the LCD 2C. Let's see what the LCD 2CC closed back version sounds like. And they have a different. They don't have the wood on the back, so they're gonna be cheaper. I think they're under a grand. Back to listening. Let's talk about what's good in life. Right there, Evangelion in the depths of human hearts. And it's got like... Bells 
far away. Good. Here, here. These never make me forget their headphones. Some headphones you put on and all of a sudden things like the M60Xs. That's right, the on-ear portables. You put them on and you're in a room and there's no headphones. It's just sound around you. But I put these on and it's this ear cup's making the bell noise. And then it makes another bell noise. I'm never lost. And that's probably partially because they weigh a trillion pounds. Like, just looking back. Well, now that I've tightened them, they're better. Oh, no. They still, they still like, want to... They do this on your head every time you look. These are very much sit straight ahead. Don't lay back in a chair headphones. But they don't... They don't get lost. Good headphones should not sound like headphones when you're wearing them. Really good headphones you put on and then your head just gets warm and then you're in this thing that just makes sound happen. And these always sound like a headphone is playing. So, and the bells back to this track. Very clear. But I know what's going to happen. It's just, this is just a very little taste of like, oh, here's a bell. Oh, it's very clear. It's very clear. But if, if it gets to the point where it's like bells and then whistles and then drums and then, you know, someone's playing a saxophone, my teeth start to hurt a bit. Lower. I keep having to lower the volume. Good headphones. Really good headphones. I always find myself raising the volume. I just want more of it. More of it. And on these, it's the exact opposite. A song will come on and it'll be like, ooh, no, no. And then a low recording song will come on and I'll have to crank it up again. And then the whole process starts over again. No, less, less of this. I mean, look, these are not shit headphones. I'm not like, well, I'll take beats over these. Um, I won't. Unless there's a really good pair of beats that I haven't heard yet. But like here, Post Mountain Juke up, Jukebox, uh, Wake Me Up. Good vocals, like good female vocals are just. But then we got those trumpets, and it's just like, oh, the trumpets. You know the the the, the Drake, like no. Like like ooh, female vocals or trumpets, no. It's just no. They just get a little. I actually had a headache earlier today. Like, I, I was, like, suffering, and I'm just like, I gotta get this review done. I gotta sit down and listen to it. And I couldn't. I took these off, and I went Advil nap. That could be true with any headphone, but it was just, it really stood out to me, like, I don't have the head to listen to these today. But here we are at, like, 1.30 in the morning, because I took a fucking nap. And it's like, I have to talk about this, because this is it. I love you, Odyssey. I love you, Odyssey. I love your eye signs, even though the um, the Lightning version has a full EQ tweak that makes them sound so much better than the ones you can just plug into a three and a half millimeter. I love your LCD twos, C's. They're great. I would buy a pair of those over these in a heartbeat. Then again, they're also open back, closed back, big old planars. You really have very few choices. I'm still waiting on my Mobius, by the way. The um the Odyssey Mobius. So I'm interested to see what those will do, because those are cheap, and I'm, I know it won't have the same sound signature as this. It better not for a gaming headset. So yeah, we got lackluster bass, um, highs that only work half the time. They work, there's always highs, there's always highs, they only work half the time. Startlingly good imaging, but I can never enjoy, like, a sound happened in a song that I play all the time, and I, I, like a butterfly moving inside my brain, I would listen to it go flappity flap, 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 and I'm like, wow! But then I didn't enjoy the rest of the song. So, it's got some good, that this doesn't make any sense to me, why the LCD X is, because here's the thing, once you close it, it doesn't matter what it was before. You've, you've now, in, that's like saying, I love this Corvette, but now I want a school bus, but it's based in this Corvette. It's not a Corvette anymore if it's a fucking school bus. And putting clothes backs on anything, you are starting from scratch. It don't matter what the VIN number says, it is no longer that Corvette. You are now dealing with a school bus and you've got to start reprogramming re everything and moving things around to make the school bus work. 
And these are not the LCD X's. These are not the LCD X's in drag. They don't share almost any of the sound signatures. And again, unless uh, the LCD X's I had were just broken, and just the perfect broken, or unless these are broken, or the older model just isn't as good as the newer model, I'm just telling you what's on my table. So I will link to these. I will link to the M1060. I would totally recommend the M1060Cs over this, regardless of the shitty headband design. Because, I mean, it's a headband, I just have to tighten the screw. So, but, oh, look at that. Oh, the pads, by the way, are not memory foam. So it's definitely an old, the newer Odysseys, I think, have finally switched to it. And these are even phasered. You could feel the phaser array in there, which is what guides the sound out from between the uh, magnet arrays. I just, oof. I can't. I can't enjoy them. They don't need to be here anymore. I don't enjoy them. So if you if you already own a set, tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. Tell me what you hear. Tell me what other LCDs you've heard. If you've heard the open back LCD X's, have any of you heard the the LCD 2C closed backs? Tell me about those. Tell me about that wallpaper. Do you like that wallpaper? It's downloadable in the description, along to a link to my Patreon, which will ensure this set of cans and get them back to their owner. Also on there, um, I've added a new tier, a $10 tier, instead of just the, like the $5 tier gets you into most things, but I added for $10 and up, uh, there's a private Telegram channel so that I can answer your questions with my voice instead of typing everything. So if you're in the 1530, whatever, $10 and up, you get that. So that's new. There's also yard sales that happen from the 1st to the 10th of every month where if I buy something, those, and I review them, those, and I put them, I'm done with them, and I don't really need more speakers, those end up in the yard sale, and you can bid $3 on them, and I cover shipping for the US. If you're international, you can bid, and uh, you pay half the shipping when it goes out. So yeah, LCD X is C's, it's, it's, um, not my cup of tea, just not my cup of tea. If it's your cup of tea, say so. If it's not your cup of tea, if you've heard them and you feel the same as me, say so in the comments. People don't. People come here for me, that's great, but the comments are where the real truth lies because if everyone agrees with me, that's fine. If everyone disagrees with me, then I'm wrong. It's a great system. Um, so thanks for stopping by. Check out the sound demo for these in the description. Download the wallpaper. Join the Patreon for lots of benefits, as many benefits as I can, and I will... Um that's already taken. Shit. Whatever. I'll whatever. It's two in the morning. I can do whatever I feel like. Happy birthday.